Welcome ladies and gentlemen to today's practical which is on Newton's first law of motion or what we call inertia. Um, on the connect site what you'll find is you'll find a worksheet that's attached uh, to this so if you'd like to go into the site um, download the worksheet uh, and then once you get that you can recommence the video uh, and complete the experiment. Okay, the experiment's got four parts to it, so four little experiments that we'll uh, use to determine uh, what inertia is and the factors that affect inertia. Now, they are experiments that do, in a couple of cases, require a feel um, to be able to uh, to push and to pull and the like. So, um, for those ones, I will describe the sort of results that we get with it. Now, the first one is an almost an old old trick. Okay, um, and what I've got is of, of I've got a beaker here, uh, a piece of card, and then on the top I've got this washer that I'm going to place on top. And as you can see from the experiment, it says, uh, quickly pull the card to one side. So let's see how we go with that. Okay, now, um, you can see with that, that basically uh, it fell down. Now, not too well because it actually did hit the back of the beaker. So probably what I need to do is uh, just do this a little bit quicker. Uh, it's a little bit slow last time. So there we go. That was a beautiful example of it. And you could see that uh, the washer dropped right down into uh, the bottom of the beaker. So the sheet's asking you to describe what happened there. So if you could do that, um, that would be magnificent. Okay, yeah, experiment number two uh, is looking at the equipment that you can see set up in front of you. What we've got is we've got a can of uh, sand and we've also got an empty can and we've just covered them up so students don't look inside the can to see which is which. What it's asking you to do is to suspend the two cans and then answer the question, which requires the more force to move it? So let's put them both there. Okay, we work on this one first. Uh, actually, that doesn't take much force at all. It's pretty easy to move. Uh, in that regard, we come over here, make sure I'm using the same. Oh, and that one actually does take a little bit more force to it. And of course, uh, if you were to then work that out, this is actually the can that's filled up with sand. So this is actually heavier, has more mass. This can is just an empty can. Um, so if you'd like to uh, add that to your ex uh, experiment, write that in and then try and explain why this one would take uh, more force or more effort to move the can. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, um, our next experiment, experiment number three, is looking at these slotted masses here and this particular ruler. And, and what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to knock the bottom one away and we're going to see what the effect is on all of the rest of them. So again, need to do it relatively quickly. And there we have it. So you can see a, a really good example there. What you can see basically is that the top haven't moved much at all. I don't think the top one has moved anywhere. It's stayed in, in exactly the same place, but obviously the bottom ones have moved along and obviously this one is basically out all the way there. So again, uh, it's asking you to describe what happened um, and, and then it's asking you why. So can you please uh, complete activity number three now? Thank you. Okay, our fourth uh, activity is looking at one of these which is called a dynamics trolley. Now these dynamics trolleys actually have really good movement so they basically are really easy to push. Um, so obviously as, as you can see it doesn't really take much for me to move it around the place. The prac then asks you to put on one of these kilogram weights and then to see how much effort it takes to push it again. Now it just takes a little bit more effort with the one kilogram weight on and if we add a another one on uh, as you would expect uh, it, it now takes a lot more okay also the acceleration as it pushes off is um, a lot slower as well so what you need to do for the experiment number four is to explain the difference in the effort required why and then um, try and re relate that to effort and to force and to mass please um, once you've done that, uh, what you need to do is just finish up on the conclusion, which is asking what Newton's first law is all about then, uh, and then obviously checking with your teacher to make sure that you are on the right track. Thank you very much, folks.